Hey, what's going on guys? It's Dustin here with another thrift store video. So uh, yeah, um, get on the hand sanitizer and uh, checking out the first Goodwill of the day. Just did my drop uh, at the post office for everything we sold over the three day Martin Luther King Jr. weekend. Uh, was actually quite a bit. Um, ended up uh, grabbing these backyard darts here uh, just to t uh, check out. Unfortunately, there's no real value there, so ended up passing on them. Used at least. In new condition, they'd be worth something. Uh, unfortunately, uh, used, they just don't seem to hold any value. Um, something I do find, though, uh, real quickly, is this Logitech mouse, new and packaged. It looks like it's probably dead stock, guys. Always scan. Logitech mice that you see, uh, especially brand new in package. $1.99. There's a sold comp on the screen there for $65. Um, oh, so find these two packages of golf balls for uh, $3.99 a piece. Um, I'm hoping to get 50 shipped for both is a lot. Um, I think that's pretty reasonable. Uh, something that uh, I can expect to get. Obvious dead stock there as well. So definitely happy with that pickup. But that's really all I find at the Goodwill there. So I do head over to the Salvation Army. I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm all over the place on this one. Uh, please consider uh, liking the video uh, and also uh, subscribing to the channel and all of that jive, the bell notifications, everything. One thing I quickly spot when I get into the Salvation Army is this one blue tag, which means it's 99 cents right now. Um, I should be able to get about 25 shipped for it. Not a huge money maker, but pretty good margins. I mean, anytime you can turn a dollar into anything, right? And uh, I do see this fragrance warmer, unfortunately unbranded. I really don't think I'm gonna get much for it, probably sub $10 which I really don't like to play on eBay under $10 uh, if I can avoid it. Uh, sometimes I might get lesser value items like that if they're in quantity and lot them together or something. Now this Sony Dream Machines actually, uh, it's got the remote and everything, which I don't think the comp on the screen I put uh, has that. I should be able to get around 25 to 30 bucks for this. Um, and I finally find out what the price is, is put on the AC adapter there. And it's only $1.99, so uh, that's a definite pickup for me. Typically when I see those, uh, they're a little bit overpriced at the thrift. Um, I just thought this mug was pretty funny, uh, being a Simpsons fan. It's kind of got that Homer vibe to it. Uh, obviously not buying that is, uh, there's not too much value. So I hit another uh, Goodwill, and uh, this one is kind of in a nicer part of our uh, area. And uh, grab a cart here, head straight for the back where all the good stuff is. Um, didn't find too much. Unfortunately, got kind of faked out by this iSmart alarm thing. This was only like one portion of everything, so it really didn't wasn't valuable. But uh, like the whole setup is, if you can find it. Um, the Pokemon video in hand there, um, I was just seeing if it was one that maybe somebody actually cared about. Unfortunately, not worth that much. Um, same, I've seen this keyboard here a few times, so I didn't really need to look it up. Um, didn't seem to uh, have too much value to it. But yeah, um, continuing to look around, uh, the one pickup I make here is these two Bugs Bunny Elmer Fudd mugs. Um, I don't, I can't find the comp I found on my phone, but uh, I threw one up on the screen for you guys. I'm thinking I can get maybe about $25 uh, to $30 shipped. Uh, for both of them and at a buck 99 a piece there's some room for a profit and I also know these type of Pepsi mugs or cups I should say sell very well um, I have no problem moving them uh, I saw a couple belt buckles which kind of got me excited but unfortunately neither of them are very valuable uh, so I did pass on them I've had pretty good luck with belt buckles in the past uh, with that I pay for those glasses and head out to the valley thrift this this thrift is massive. Um, lately, I'll note that they've been really kind of upping the prices, and stuff is starting to pile up on the shelves pretty, uh, pretty heavily. Um, I do know they have like 25% off and half off days, so that's kind of their strategy, I guess. Price it high, and if it doesn't sell, it'll sell on those days. Um, but 
on some things, I think they're pricing uh, significantly too high. Um, but you still can find things that are a good deal. Uh, this hotel for dogs, I just found it kind of funny. This was even made as a Wii game. Only worth like six bucks on eBay. Um, I don't know. It's uh, just so much shovelware was made for that console. It is ridiculous. Um, I saw these uh, roller derby um basically inline wheels uh here and unfortunately they weren't priced guys so this store is really strict about it if it doesn't have a price on it it doesn't go back out onto the floor until the next day uh i've never been able to get them to do it so i just decided to save my time uh and go over here because i see another pair of skates um but from a distance they look pretty good but when I get up to them, I notice that, uh, yeah, one of those, I don't know how the person survived whatever happened to that wheel right there. But yeah, they really messed that wheel up. Um, they're just pr uh, way too rough to even consider. Uh, not uh, even with the wheel. Uh, I see all these GitHub, like, I think it's like Octocad or whatever figures. Um, I don't know what they're worth, so I leave them, but they wanted like three bucks a piece. These water filters uh, would have been great, but $5.99, I can't touch them. Uh, they sell really quick when you, uh, obviously, when you can find Breda filters, pick them up uh, on the cheap. This Small World uh, used, it was priced fair enough, but uh, I've sold it new actually from an Amazon return, and it was only worth like $25. Um, so, uh, I'm not really a player on that uh, used. Cause, um, I just found this Slim Jim racing mug to be pretty cool. So I'm putting it on the screen. Uh, not enough value, unfortunately, um, but it's just cool and retro. Uh, so I had to show it off. Um, the Stuart Little DVD sets, my first pickup of the day at Valley. So I do grab that, should get 20 bucks for the 299. Unfortunately, I look for this game here. It's a Devil May Cry collection. Disc was not in there because uh, I probably would have bought it. So yeah, unfortunately those sometimes get snagged. Uh, this triple play, I saw no comps for, but that's not really the reason I passed on it. Cause uh, at 2.99, I know I would sell it eventually. It was missing some of the balls. I actually um, go there, um, I open it up and start counting and it's a few shy. And it's just something I didn't really want to deal with. So I ended up uh, putting it back. So kind of moving on, looking around Valley some more. Um, I kind of turn over here and I see this Duncan yo-yo and it's actually got like a two-in-one yo-yo. It's got like another little mini thing that you can do with it or something and a book. Um, and uh, yeah, it's about $15. So after that, uh, I do pay. Uh, that's all I really picked up at Valley. And I head over to the Ben store as they're having their $3 day and they're doing restocks throughout the day. This is their 2 p.m. restock. Uh, most of the stuff in here is Amazon returns. There are some like Target shelf pulls and returns as well in here. Um, just wanted to run in here and check out how $3 day was. This uh, socket is like this recessed retractable power strip. Um, I don't understand how it works, but I also grab these uh, smart sockets as well. I have sold those before for 25 bucks. So uh, they ship really light. So why not? It'll be first class. Um, 12 bucks plus shipping is the comp on that NES or a regular Nintendo mini wireless controller. Um, and I do see these Raspberry Pi arcade sticks. Now, I think I'm pretty certain everything's in there. I checked it out. Uh, I have a $48 comp on the screen. Um, it's arcade sticks for your Raspberry Pi. Um, figured I'd grab it and give it a shot for three bucks. Uh, the grow light there, I sell those uh, pretty frequently between 25 and 30. And the Nintendo 64, the HDMI converter there, um, I think I should get about 22, 23 bucks for. Uh, you see me putting that teapot in, but I ended up putting that back. Um, these Noma lights, they're basically LED Christmas lights. Uh, stockpiling for next year, so I'm buying them up everywhere I see them. Uh, they sell for about 30 bucks. Uh, there's comps all over the place around that $30 range. And then this uh, iPad Pro docking station, something I do pick up as well. 
I ended up grabbing eight items in total for 24 bucks. Um, and then I do circle back to the original Goodwill again to see if they put out a new stock. They did put out a little bit. I don't know if uh, it got picked through or not. But this new wave oven is $19.99. So um, actually it will sell for about 80 to 90 shipped. I think I forgot to put the comp on the screen. I'll see if I remember to do that or not in a minute. Uh, but yeah, I might um, sell it like that, or I might do better parting this one out. Um, I did look up that they there was a lot of sold comps on like just selling the dome, just selling the actual electric oven part of it, selling like the racks, and then the fact it comes with a bag. I think that might be the route to go on this. Um, I mean, I, if I, you know, make an extra 40, 50 bucks doing so, it might be worth it. I'll just have to do the math on how that impacts my shipping costs. So, uh, yeah, with that being said, kind of a grindy day, but you got to get out there and do it if you want to find it. Um, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notifications, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.